Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, I got a pretty good hotel. I don't, obviously don't want to give away where I am right away, but uh, I'll show it tomorrow when I'm checking out, but I'll just give you a little hint. Oh, I've shown too much. So anyway, this is uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, I just did a video for Domino 1 last night, late, and I woke up and it had like 5,000 views. I was like, okay, this one's going to be popular because <laughs> you usually don't get a lot of views at night. Um, oh, also the Indiegogo is probably going to be at 80,000 by the time I finish recording this uh it was at seventy five thousand like a, two, a day and a half ago so obviously uh getting a third comic as a stretch goal is uh, pretty popular um but anyway uh just like with domino uh just like with miss marvel female characters uh female writers not hired on merit um like i said in the domino uh video we don't have a problem with women in comics, we just have a problem with the women we have right now. Uh, Gail Simone is uh, doesn't even try, very lazy, has repeatedly gotten jobs and saved her career and her gender. Uh, G. Willow Wilson is Muslim, so she got hired by the Muslim to write a Muslim. And uh, it's terrible. It's not a, anything resembling a traditional American superhero comic. It doesn't even resemble manga which women actually like because they're going for a female audience it's just this f you know feathered fish nothing comic uh so ah ha ha everything has to be disney sitcom humor con you feel the love tonight plot twist there's no love there's uh, uh some lol so random um boys are like weird style humor and that's it then we get her annoyingly smug purse puppy crew of a uh, traditionalist uh, Muslim woman who uh, hangs out with a bunch of kufar and has no problem that she got hit on by a lesbian. Vaguely ethnic, chubby, uh, blue-haired girl. Total simp, um, purse puppy, black guy, and lesbian. Uh, the population of uh, the Marvel Comics universe, 35% uh, black, uh, about 30% gay. Uh, and then, oh, look, it's, I think that's her mom behind her looking incredibly sad as they share a milkshake like it's freaking the 1950s. So, uh, <laughs> this is the part that I laughed. Um, Bruno went off to school in Wakanda. So, uh, Bruno went to school in Wakanda because he was crippled, uh, when you became a, uh, a Nazi, essentially, for Captain Marvel and started arresting your friends. And there's been no repercussions to this at all. So we start off, and one of the big things, I've read a bunch of these, is it's propaganda. And it's propaganda that they can't even commit to the propaganda. The propaganda is Muslims are just like us. And then when they get to the part where they're very, very different... They just kind of go, ha, ah, <laughs> Disney XD, LOL, so random humor. So, okay, so, um, life is beautiful. So, uh, her brother, uh, who straight up looks like a terrorist, um, not so much in this video, but you gotta see, like, the hijab has, you know, cultural, religious, you know, most, well, some cultures, Muslim women don't wear it. Of course, uh, two out of three in this one wear it. Um, and then Amir straight up dresses like a guy, a shepherd from the middle of Afghanistan. By the way, they're from Pakistan, except for they never ever look Pakistani. They just look vaguely Arab. Um, so uh, uh, the, uh, the wife is having a kid, and then ha ha ha. Okay, yeah, her brother in law, something, uh, is uh, black. And then, ha, 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 they're so excited for a little sister, they brought a million toys. Then, in true sitcom fashion, they kicked me out. Why? Because I fainted. Uh, and then we find out that even though he dresses and acts like a freaking Taliban, <laughs> uh, he's the stay-at-home dad. Again, this is just like with Infidel. This is TV style progressive make you relax muslims that don't really exist um uh and we're gonna see that they <laughs> at the end sana amnat who's actually born muslim 
is trying to cheerlead something she is obviously very very conflicted about okay so we get in there and like ha 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 they all trying to go through the door at the same time team rocket form up uh and then uh you know we get some more religious uh subam allah a brand new unrepeatable human and we're his family us his whole life is our responsibility we got to do right by this little guy and just like that i'm in love so the love is she loves her nephew because the elephant in the room is you can never have her actually date because even though she's shown as very uh americanized um if they have her date then they're gonna get castigated by the same muslim groups that they're trying to you know uh impress so then she's like I feel like I'm in a musical. I'm seconds away from bursting into songs like some kind of princess who talks to animals and ha always has great hair. <laughs> Can you have an actual human emotion? You're happy. Just be happy. I don't know why we have to get this overly detailed flag and you having this stupid Riri Williams. Ex like, are you happy or are you ironically pretending to be overly happy? Um... So then she goes back because she loves to patrol so much and she's dancing around and then she, oh, somebody scares her and she has a silly billy reaction. And then she goes, mm, boys, mm. So then uh, they kiss out of nowhere. Now, as soon as this guy was introduced, you knew this was going to be the guy to kiss because he was a Muslim superhero. There was this guy, Bruno, who was good guy Greg to a T. He's been in dozens of issues. He ended up getting uh, crippled for life, uh, trying to rescue uh, the prisoners from her illegal prison. They tend to gloss off that really heavily. And then, oh, hey, uh, he's back. He somehow was on the ground, and he saw them kiss on the roof. Okay, let's, let's, let's go back to the videotape. She is uh, jumping to roof to roof. She's clearly in the middle of a roof, right in the middle of a roof, 10 feet away from the edge of the roof, uh, 10 to 20 feet away from the edge of the roof. They kiss, and Bruno on the ground saw it. Bruno? Because, again, <laughs> you had to interrupt. It can't go farther because the same, you know, uh, care or whatever, C-A-R-R, -R, the same Muslim groups they're trying to curry favor from would castigate them if they had her just... If you want to do the bit, she's just like everyone else. Okay, then have her start dating this guy or this guy. That's that's what 99% of America... Uh. So, the thing is, you can do it where they're different. You're like, hey, uh, she's pretty cool, but she's pretty different than about 99% of the country. But no, they can't do that. Then we get him. Um, hey, cell phones. People love to plug in their cell phone, ha ha. So then we get to Bruno, who's been in Wakanda. We meet his roommate. And uh, as soon as I saw the roommate, I just, I just made a sound. Because I knew it was going to happen. His roommate, who would be good at everything, super cool, super smart. Uh, everyone would like him, and he would have no personality. Like I said, SJWs cannot write past race. It's In the mind of an SJW, writing that Bruno's roommate is black, they're like... Whew, fleshed out that character. Moving on. Uh, so then we get to hear uh, them dance around the idea that he's crippled because of uh, Kamala. Um, and then we get all this very condescending um, talk about Americans. And then uh, what, she goes, so then there, it's a little awkward because he's crippled for life because she decided to arrest Americans and put him in an illegal Guantanamo Bay for Americans in America. I thought you'd never want to speak to me after after what happened. I thought so, too. But as we were driving down the West Side Avenue, I realized this is us. This is the thing I've got to figure out before I decide whether to go back to Wakanda. Have boundaries, rules. Um, and then she starts complaining that he had a, he had a girlfriend. Because uh, he's... <laughs> He has to have a girlfriend because he's just like us. Like, why? Oh, why can't you? Is there? Would there be some weird, very dire repercussions if you dated a boy? Or, I thought you were just like us. So then, um, we meet this girl, and she's a 1980s cliche white girl snob bully. Oh my gosh, this is an important conversation because if it's not, could you maybe stop ogling each other and tell me how to find the gymnatorium? So she's a snotty bitch, and since she's white, everyone gets to comment how she's a snotty bitch. 
Um, she really wasn't that bad. They're they're doing the classic thing where they're having an argument. This is a big New York City thing. It's like having first of all, it's pretty wide stairs, but to just sit on stairs or have an argument or have a loud conversation. So then uh, Bruno meets the purse puppy crew, and uh, which is of course thirty three percent lesbian. Um, uh, yeah, I see. So this is another thing. So obviously I'm in New York. It's very diverse, but it's not diverse like this. I'm in a neighborhood that is uh, almost exclusively of one ethnicity. Do you get a hint from right here? Um, you don't see stuff like this. My last neighborhood was the people who lived there were mostly gay white men. And the kids there were bust in mostly black kids. You get diversity by traveling the whole city. You don't see stuff like this. It doesn't happen. And then, of course, she sees the snotty girl... And the lesbian goes into super lesbian powers and immediately is going to start hitting on her. Um, now, realistically, she would be saying, you're going to go to hell for this. But she's like, you will not have a crush on a snob. Then uh, Bruno's been gone. So uh, she does she dressed like a 1980s cheerleader. Now she dresses like she's in Antifa. Um, and so Bruno goes, what? She goes, I'm gay. I'm not vegan anymore, though. That was a phase. Oh, that's way too on the nose. Okay, which one is the phase again? Oh, yeah, it's like, let not even get into that. Um, so then they start making fun of the the white girl, calling her Cadence or Kaylin or Kaylee. Okay, so would we ever get the opposite? Would we have the good people joking that the Mexican is named Juan or Jose? It, he's probably named Jose. Um, this is the cute, uh, uh, allowed racism of SJW writers. So then we get more back more into uh, Kamala and the boy she crippled. So the way he got crippled is she created an illegal prison. He went in there to try to um, uh, basically blow the lock to let people out. And something happened, he ended up injuring himself. But we get to hear some more purse puppy about Henry uh, Wakanda. He's the stupidest guy. Ha, 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 ha. Get it? Um... So then uh, she uh, remembers that she has fake Disney uh, sitcom girl emotions. So she runs to the masjid to tell the imam. And um, uh, then, uh, by coincidence, he's the most progressive with it imam ever. Um, and then we get some uh, more propaganda. Um, imams do not exist in masjids to tell immigrant girls that it's super cool she's in a love triangle that does not happen uh then we get to hey wow um you just became a lesbian and you're already a predatory <laughs> lesbian like come on um uh this is another trope of sjw everything is that uh a, a ridiculously high amount of uh women are lesbians 30 to 40 percent and the women who aren't lesbians uh, have no problem being hit on. I've uh, got a lot of kids, so obviously uh, I've done a lot of stuff in my life, and I'm getting gory detail of that. But this whole myth that every w woman is like this far from being a lesbian uh, is not true. Um, uh, women get just as much gay panic as guys do. Uh, the percentages are just the same, both very low. Um, and uh, one of the things that women talk about is they talk about the problems of having lesbian friends. They say, it's just like being with a guy. You go out, you're drinking, you have fun, and then boom, hand on the boob. And then you can't get angry because then you're homophobic. This is highly inappropriate. She just met her. She is obviously hitting her. She has absolutely no idea. Now, in the Marvel Universe, she's got a basically a 33% chance she's a lesbian. 33% is still only one third, and it's highly inappropriate for her to do something like that. Then, of course, she is the victim because the white girl, who apparently has superpowers, did not want to be hit on uh, by a woman her first day at school, or basically her first hour at school. Um, and then we get to find out that uh, we're totally having a love triangle, except there will be no love triangle. So then, uh, I love this, it's like, 
So with all that in mind, we knew we had to be very tactful when addressing Kamal's love life. Why? I thought she was just like everyone else. You don't have to be tactful with She-Hulk or Domino. What's the deal? What's what's the main difference? Because it hasn't been her youth. It was not her youth. It was her religion. Yes, it was her religion. And we actually see where Sana grew up and uh, dating was not something they could talk about. Wait, I thought it was just something. I thought you guys were just like everyone. I thought, I thought that was... There was an actual story to tell here that they have never, ever had the bravery or the honesty to tell. It is about a girl who really likes being in America, but uh, whose family is very traditional. This is the story of 95% of, you know, second, third generation uh, Muslims. Um, but they don't want to do that. She's a Joe Average American girl, except for when she's not. She can't ever have actual emotions because that would lead to actual things like dating and the other stuff that, you know, teenagers do together. So she has to exist in this this pre-adolescent twilight of never... Uh, why am I talking about this like it matters? Anyway, I got to get ready for work. Anyway, tell me what you think about this video. Subscribe. Make sure you still subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the Super Chat Patreon. And... Uh, I'll have uh, uh, more videos up later today. Thanks. Bye.